yo I'm the man, been a man since Vivo Get views, I don't even need Vivo Get dope, I will never see repo Hot chicks want drugs and a D-low Two lines like an equal Everybody's on me though Wanna sign me, add another zero Let's go. Best out we know You know how we roll In the club with the I started off as Wolverine and he was like Batman but obviously we didn't want no one to know true identity so we changed that to Conan and Crap Crap and Conan man. Yeah we played that <laughs> we're a rap duo. Yeah man, musicians, artists, but if you wanna call us entrepreneurs, visionaries, future, geniuses, acrobatics, <laughs> um all that kind of stuff, yeah. Brother, paranormal part two. How was it that from growing up? We, well, it was like a, a roller coaster when, like, from like young we was we've been around, you know, in the area and the ends, whatever you want to call it, um, around things, around rough upbringing basically, in it, and obviously nothing was spoon fed for us. We had to go out and do it ourselves, everything ourselves. Like we was around a lot of violence. We was around a lot of things and that helped us become who we are today and um, you can look at it and think oh was it you regret like growing up in that kind of environment and that but I don't because I think if it wasn't for that I don't think we would be who we are today. It's like God took Carl just to save me From then I knew I'd never be the same me Now I see sense that shit changed me It's always been a part of like my life because obviously my dad was a singer, so and my mum was like backing singer, and my brothers were singing in the group, so music's always been like a part of my life. So yeah, man, when we start when we started to kind of take it seriously was like 2008. Me and Crep was doing music before, like like the grime stuff, like doing tapes and like like doing sets in like little parties in the area and that. But like 2008 when we decided to take it seriously, we done our first like kind of street mi mixtape called Red Rum, and then then like two years after that we done Tsunami, and then after that we just started getting more more in, into it. So yeah, man, it just picked up like that basically. Stop bus traffic. She said I'm hot chocolate with lean swag. When a whore licks, I get a tea bag. Spend free. It's been a long journey, like, because I remember when we, like, the cert certain people, even artists that we used to, that we're around now, um, we used to look at them on that like, TV and think, oh, they're, they're the industry, like, and then now I think we're just cool with them, we've got their numbers, we phone them, we're all friends, and I feel like we've come a long way, even though there's so much more to do and so much ground to cover, I still think that we, we've still got a long way to go, but yeah, man, we've, we've come a long way, man, from, you know, doing old school grime sets and now we're, you know, we're performing in arenas and we're performing with big artists and you can feature with big artists and lo loads of people are showing us that we've got massive fan base, big following, do you know what I mean, like thousands and thousands of followers and views and you just get so much love, you go out on the street, your life's changed, you can't go and do normal things. I can't even go out during school finishing time now because it's just mad. I'm flat, seagull, no kids, but I'm trying to get pedo. I'm sure, but I got a big ego, but I act childish Gambino. I got we in Ejo. Ask Crep, he knows. In a club with all my amigos. That's the end goal is that our main motivation for everything we do, like where we want to be. So when every time there's a hurdle or we're down, we just think about where we're trying to get to. And just like sometimes we just like, like watch other artists, like journeys, like documentaries and see what they've been through and just see that everyone has, has had it hard. It was never easy for no one. So knowing that in the back of your mind that you always be motivated to just keep pushing and pushing. 
basically like last man standing. Like not everyone's gonna get there, but whoever persists and is determined will. So that's how we just look at it. There's too many. Um, um, respect to be at the top of it, man. Like to be able to like not rely on anyone to be able to have you know an empire in this where wherever it's you know you've got your own you got your own studio you've got your own producers you've got your own this you got your own you've ventured that out to businesses you got this you got that and you're in a good place and you're you're happy with where you are like everything everything you do you just is working for you that's what like I, I see I look at um, a lot of artists like people like obviously it's cliche but people like Jay Z and like you see you know everything that they do they just make it work man, and they they use their influence to venture out into other things and I think like I I just want that to work for us like I want our us our career to work I want you know to be able to to charts go platinum do all these things you know what I mean perform in these legendary places and become a legend basically that's what if I could even if I could just boil it down to one thing just I would like us to become legends the biggest weaknesses I don't really think there is really that much of a weakness because that two has a better one so and team works better than single work so it always better but like weaknesses I was thinking like when someone wants us to do a verse for them and there's only that one sixteen but they want us to do the verse and then we have to split it that's the only weakness I feel like we have been a duo yeah. and the strengths is that there's two of us in it <laughs> so there's always more ideas flowing around the room so yeah man. and it's when one person is doing one thing another person can flo focus on another thing so that's our strips in the sense, yeah. You got a chest, they told me go six, and I was like, we be and I give the girl the beat. Hundred percent, because all the time you gotta be on top of your game. So it's like you can't have a weaker verse than your last verse, because everyone's expecting you to do it. Uh, uh, you gotta do exactly the same thing or better. So sometimes it gets hard to think of clever things to say when you've said a million clever things. If you get what I'm saying. Like you always got to be a step ahead and then obviously because we've like kind of started the pattern it's like a, a lot of other people are starting to do it as well so it's like you've got to be better than them as well right? like because you've kind of been known for it so it's like it's hard in a sense but then it gets easier when you've done it so long in it so yeah yes i know my top five uk mcs hmm. no order um, Skepta, Gigs, um, Dubs, Chip, Arsenal. Yeah. Um, mine would be quite similar to say is I would say um Skepta, Chip, Geeks, I put Tiny in there and it's too hard man. It's too many. Can I can I um since then from nothing means something I'll get my brothers right, that's one thing Yeah, September the 2nd, I'm young kids Living right, living right I'm trying to win, get my niggas right Niggas right I'm going to win, see it in my eyes I'm 